what role can the International Lunar Research Station play in the development of China's aerospace industry in the future? We define the exploration of the moon and celestial bodies and space beyond it as deep space exploration. The moon is the starting point. Chang'e 7 will land on the south pole of the moon and search for water. The focus for Chang'e 8 is resource investigation and utilization. The mission will conduct some experiments to see whether we can make bricks, use Wi-Fi and find long-term energy supply, including solar energy or nuclear energy on the moon. This will be implemented in the near future. We also want to build an international lunar research station, which is a larger scale and longer term ambition. Then we want to build a navigation, communication and remote sensing constellation centered on the moon, as our previous constellations were centered on the Earth. At the same time, our next step is a manned lunar landing. China aims to achieve this around 2030 and leaves the footsteps of the Chinese on the moon. You see, the symbol of our lunar exploration is a person's footprint, right? Deep space exploration also includes collecting and returning asteroid samples and collecting samples from large celestial bodies such as Mars and the Jupiter system. Jupiter is the largest celestial body in the solar system other than the Sun and is equivalent to the size of 1300 Earths. As of last year, humans have discovered that Jupiter is over 70 satellites. Together, they are called the Jupiter system. We humans should thank Jupiter because it is a large celestial body that has a strong gravitational force. It attracts many small celestial bodies, reducing the risk of small celestial bodies hitting the Earth. Then we have to explore the edge of the solar system. To realize this deep space exploration, we need rockets with greater thrust. You already know the FAT-5, or the Long March 5 rocket. It has been launched over 10 times in a row. The takeoff thrust of the FAT-5 is 1,060 tons. The thrust of our heavy-duty rockets will be six times higher than that. Now we can send eight tons of payload to the moon. In the future, we will be able to send 50 tons of payload to the moon per launch.